it's like the curtain's been lifted and suddenly, hopefully, everybody from the front row to the very back of the hall will, will get the goosebumps that we have sitting in the middle of the orchestra. I think it's one of the most exciting, immense works in the repertoire. So to perform that back on this stage in this hall with this incredible conductor and the orchestra sounding the way it is, I think it's going to be uh, an amazing performance. Over the past two years, one of Australia's most famous icons has been undergoing a major transformation. Finally, the renewed concert hall is opening its doors to the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, along with its new chief conductor, Simone Young. It just felt right at this time to be coming back and to become the chief conductor of the orchestra when they're moving into this whole new phase with the beautifully renovated hall, which is exceeding all of our expectations. It feels like a natural development and a, a very healthy one. And now we get to grow together over the next few years, which is incredibly exciting. For us, this doesn't feel like a revamped hall. It feels like we are in a new hall. So I think if as an audience member, there are the superficial things that you're going to see. There's this lovely sweep with the risers on the stage, which sort of atmospherically create a kind of a hug around the orchestra, if you like. There are the, the magenta petals. These petals, they, they really make a difference. During the acoustic testing, we've been playing with the petals at eight meter height, nine meter, nine and a half, ten, and it's astonishing what a difference, even just a half a meter of extra elevation or lowering it, actually how that affects the sounds. And uh, it's incredibly exciting to have that sort of versatility and, and a wonderful opportunity for us to really take off on a whole new exploration of what we are capable of within the music. And the symphony's first exploration of the new state-of-the-art sound system is a mighty one. Mahler's second symphony, Resurrection. It is a venue that has had a life and an exciting and satisfying life and, and, and thrilling. And now it is reborn. Well, Mahler's symphony is the Resurrection symphony. It's sort of a given in terms of the title and you know, the chorus chiming in with Auferstein, wieder Auferstein, rising up, rising up again. I mean, that's a wonderful metaphor for the, for the venue. But also, I mean, Mahler really takes the orchestra and the venue, tests it to the limits. Along with Mahler II, the reopening of the Grand Concert Hall includes a new piece by the First Nations composer, William Barton. I want that stage, that platform of expression with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra on that night and many others to be welcoming for all people from all walks of life. Where we are here on Benelong Point is an incredibly important place for First Nations peoples. I wanted to have a composition that reflected that and that those were the first orchestral sounds that we're hearing in this new venue. Mahler is always a challenge. One stands humbled and a little apprehensive at the start of a Mahler symphony because there is a masterpiece in front of you. And I always think that the conductor is sort of like the, the advocate for the composer. And that's a tremendous responsibility. Mahler makes it, however, a very grateful, thankful responsibility because one is rewarded with such extraordinary beauty. You're going to get very emotional, and that's okay. Music is very emotional, and it's one of the few real releases we have for that without having something visual saying, this is what you have to think. That's the beauty of a symphonic concert, is that you can actually let your mind release and let your imagination fly with this extraordinary music.